Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to this week's show. Uh, on the Rebel Network of this week, I'm privileged to have with me an expert in personal branding uh, and a very good friend, Dave Crane. And Dave Crane's actually uh, the star and host of Turbocharge Your Brand. A couple of other facts people may not know about Dave is he actually hosts, or I should say MCs, the Rugby Sevens in Dubai. And he's been doing it for 12 years, Dave? 13 now. 13, year, 13 years. You don't look old enough, mate. <laughs> Trust me, I am. <laughs> no, that goes out to 30,000 people every year. But on TV, he reaches over a billion people every year. That is a TV personality. And in fact, Dave's met some of the biggest people on the planet. Uh, Bruce Willis, James Brown. So Dave, what I'd like to do for the, for the audience today is there's a couple of things I'd like you to, to touch on. And um, first of all is when we do get the opportunity to meet personalities, celebrities, I think a lot of people kind of go, uh, 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 what do I say? So how do you relax and have a conversation with these people? Okay, I would say that, first of all, time is everything to these guys, and so they want to know what you're going to do with their brand. If you're a film star or a music uh, star, then they want to know that that relationship that you create with them is very straightforward. So tell them exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to ask you about this, I'm going to ask you about that, and I'd like you to do it. Make it nice and concise so they know that you're not going to veer off that and they can be pre-prepared. In many cases, if they've got a PR person, that's the person that you have to tell what they're going to do, and they will brief a star before you get an opportunity to talk to them. But most of them, um, at the end of the day, they're real people. And whatever they do, they still do the same bodily function things that we do. So just treat it like a normal person with confidence and don't be too sycophantic because they don't, they don't tend to like that. Talk straight, position yourself as who you are, and you'll get the best results from them. Somebody once said to me, Dave, that if you're, if you're doing a public speech and you're feeling really nervous, uh, imagine the crowd naked. Uh, does that work when you're meeting a celebrity as well? Well, I tend to work with an older audience, so I don't want to see any of them like that. No offence. Um, but what I found is, uh, a couple of years ago, when Ricky Gervais was hosting with Golden Globes, he offended everybody with lots of jokes about Johnny Depp and Will Smith and everybody else. And people were in outrage, saying, how can you say that about these big stars? And he said, all they do is act. They only act, they're famous and they made money because they pretend to be people. They're not politicians, they're not changing the world. They go on camera and they look pretty. I'll say what I want. And that's the thing to consider. For every single person, they get a, a shelf life of being famous, which may be huge or maybe a short amount of time, but they're still people. And if they act to be some of it, something special or funny with you, then that's their problem. Be yourself and you get the best out of them. And more than anything, if you're honest with them, they'll probably be honest with you too. Wow. Okay, so, so the interesting thing is these celebs all, all now have their own brands. But I think it's fair to say these days, particularly with social media, we're all starting to get our own brands, whether we realise it or not. So as a branding expert, particularly online, Dave, what would your advice be to people who don't know they have a brand or are looking to take a brand? I'll be very, very careful what you say about anybody or do. The minute you open up a Facebook profile, people decided whether they like you or don't like you and who you are. They'll look through the people you associate with. If you say, I went out and partied last night and all you put on is that you party, then we're not going to take you seriously in business. And I know it's a separate thing and it's none of anybody's business, but unless you do lock out everybody but you're very close insiders, then that's what people are going to have as a perception of you. Every time I get a business card or every time I interact with somebody that I'm interested in, I'll check out what Google says about them. I'll find out what they're doing on LinkedIn. I'll find out if they're pro uh, proactive on Twitter. And I'll have a look at their Facebook page, unless you're blocked, but you can still see details about people. That's where the, how people create a profile about you. And if that's not who you really are, then you should consider that, that people are making decisions about you regardless. Now, some people will say, you know what, I'm not going to go on Facebook, so nobody's going to know about you. Well, if you're not on Facebook, they're going to find somebody else 
who has got your name and will make a decision about you not being there, what you're trying to hide, and also, if they're looking for somebody in a certain industry and they're looking under a category, they might well go to your nearest competition and give them the business as well. So it's a case of getting your stuff out there and being very guarded about what you put out. Only put out what you want people to find about you. And, but do put it out there, but be very guarded because people are going to make a decision about your brand whether you thought about it or not. So whether you are on social media or not, you're actually on there? You're on there anyway. As long as people can source you. If you look for a name, if you make up a name and put it into Google, there are websites that will say, do you, we, we can find out details about this person even if it don't exist. All you need to do is this. So, so literally people are creating entities online. You don't have to tell people the truth. You don't have to tell people you're having a good day or a bad day. But tell them something that will enhance your business and enhance your brand. Dave, some fantastic tips. Before we leave, is there any one message you'd like to give people today? Definitely. I would say, whatever you're thinking, get it out online. Create a version of what people would want to have about you. So, rather than waiting and seeing that one day you'll have to step forward, step out now. Sign up for every single social media level that you can do. Even if you don't use it, park it. Because on a new social media platform, there will be your name that's taken by somebody else. And the worst thing is, when you do decide that you want to promote yourself, you find there's 200 Phil Bedfords, 5,000 Dave Cranes, or whatever. When it comes to Dave Crane, the guy who wrote Friends was Dave Crane. There's a guy who's a programmer who wrote some of the biggest computer games in the 80s and 90s, Dave Crane as well. But now I'm hiring the Google rankings of most of them. Why? Hard work and putting it out there and putting out the message that I want. If it's a conflict, I don't mind. I only want the people to find me for me. And if you've got a very common name, you'll find the same thing too. So go out there, dip your feet in the water and try not to break it. Well, there's definitely only one Dave Crane as far as I'm concerned. Dave, Absolute pleasure having you on the show. So please check out Dave's show. Uh, I'll put the link on the bottom of this, uh, Turbocharge Your Brand TV. Yep. Uh, Dave, thanks a lot, mate. Thank you, Phil. See you next week.